Hello and welcome to Water Quality. In this video I'm going to go over an example of how to calculate and evaluate the caustic, carbonate, and total alkalinity of a natural sample. So this problem, the given information is that the, the initial pH is 9.68 and it takes 5 milliliters of uh, an acid and I'm using 0 0.02 normal hydrochloric acid. And that five mils is how much it takes to reach the carbonate alkalinity endpoint. And then it takes an additional 25 mils to reach the, the total alkalinity endpoint. And the sample size is 100 mils. So we're doing a t an acid titration here. And we want to calculate the caustic, carbonate, and total alkalinity. And then we'll also calculate the CTCO3. OK, so to start off with, the caustic alkalinity is actually going to be 0. And that's because our pH, let's see, 0. And that's because our pH is less than the caustic alk endpoint which is typically about 10.8, somewhere around there. And so it's going to be zero. So we'll have no caustic alkalinity because we're starting out below that endpoint. Next, we'll solve for the carbonate alkalinity. And for this, we're going to use the equation for alkalinity that we use for titrations. And that is where our concentration of acid times the volume added to reach the endpoint is divided by the sample volume. And here our caustic or our, um, our acid concentration is 0 0.02 normal. The amount of acid we added was 5 mils and our sample volume is 100 mils. So this is going to give me an answer of 0 0.001 equivalents per liter. And if I multiply that by 50,000 milligrams of CaCO3 per equivalent, I get an answer of 50 milligrams per liter as CaCO3. And that's my answer. So we use the same alkalinity equation that we would use for total alkalinity. What's different is that the volume required is the volume to get to the carbonate alkalinity endpoint. OK, so next we're going to solve for the total alkalinity. And here we have our alkalinity is um, and we're going to use the same equation as up above, but what changes is the delta V, or the, the volume required to get to that total alkalinity endpoint. Same acid concentration. And now, rather than using 25 mils, I'm actually going to use the total acid volume to get down to that endpoint. So I'm going to add the 25 to the 5 still 100 mil sample volume and this will give us 0 0.006 equivalents per liter we multiply that by 50,000 to convert the units and I'm going to get a value of 300 milligrams per liter as CaCO3. And now to get the CtCO3, I can actually um, put this here. I can actually take the difference between those two things uh, because we have, uh, carbonate alkalinity, our CtCO3 is going to be equal to the total alk 
minus the carbonate alk. And we need to make a conversion here. because the units of alkalinity are equivalents per liter and the units of um, uh, carbonate concentration are in moles per liter. And this is all in, it's alkalinity has the equivalence of one equivalence per mole. So I can put that in here and I put in my, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and write this. I'm going to write it as the equivalence. So I have 0 0.006 equivalence per liter minus 0 0.001 equivalence per liter. And I am left with 0 0.005 moles per liter. And that is my example.